What is up guys, I'm here with my WWE Over the Limit 2012 pay-per-view predictions. Over the Limit live pay-per-view tomorrow night, I gotta say overall, the card doesn't seem that bad. As we all know, Over the Limit has a track history of not being a very good show, but who knows, who knows? this year might be able to change. Uh, as usual, the last two pay-per-views, WrestleMania Extreme Rules, this will have a uh, pre-show on YouTube, uh, 30 minutes prior to the pay-per-view. It's going to have Zack Ryder vs. Kane, we all know how much we want to see that match, so definitely tune into that pre-show. Now for overall card. Um, like I said, looks pretty good. I don't see many complaints with the show, to be honest. Uh, Fatal 4 for the World Heavyweight Championship, that looks pretty good. Uh, all the contenders in that match are capable of putting great matches on, so I don't see why it wouldn't be a good match at all. Uh, WWE Championship match, I think that speaks for itself. Uh, I don't need to go into detail, into detail with that. Uh, Divas title, hopefully it's decent. <laughs> uh, tag Team title, uh, I think that could be a pretty good wrestling match. Uh, all those guys in the match are pretty good wrestlers, so hopefully it can be a fun tag team match. And of course, uh, Mr. John Laronitis versus John Chena. Um, not gonna expect much from the match at all. So uh, I don't know. Over limit. Let's see how it turns out. Hopefully it's pretty good. And uh, let's get the predictions. Pre-show match: Zack Ryder versus Kane. Um, pick here: Kane defeats Zack Ryder. I don't see why Zack Ryder would win. This feud has been going since January, you can say, when Kane started attacks on Zack Ryder. And they're about time they're having a match, you know. They actually had a match, I believe, last month, but the match never started. So I expect Kane to get a win here, hopefully defeat Zack Ryder within a few minutes, you know, probably like five. But I don't expect much, but my pick here is that Big Red Monster Kane is going to defeat Zack Ryder. WWE Tag Team Championship match, WWE Tag Team Champions Kofi Kingston and R-Truth vs Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. My picks that Kofi and Truth are going to retain. I want to see Ziggler and Swagger win, but I just don't see uh, Kofi and Truth losing them just yet. They just won them a few weeks ago on Raw, so I don't think it makes much sense to have them lose tag team titles here. But uh, hopefully it turns out to be a pretty fun tag team match. And um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't go anywhere bad. So my pick still tag team champions Kofi Kingston and R-Truth. Fatal 4 match for the World Heavyweight Championship, World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus vs. Alberto Del Rio vs. Chris Jericho vs. Randy Orton. Um, my pick that Sheamus is going to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. I don't see him losing it already. Um, this should be a fun Fatal 4 way. I don't see why this would be bad. Or, yeah, it'd be bad. Um, if I had to choose an alternative to win, it would probably be Del Rio. Because I think Del Rio is going to be the next person to get the single shot. I see him and uh, Sheamus feuding because they're supposed to have a one-on-one -on -one match here, but I got turned to a fatal four. But uh, like I said, my pick is going to be that Sheamus is going to end up retaining the World Heavyweight Championship. Divas Championship match: Divas Champion Layla versus Beth Phoenix. Um, Layla just won the title like a few weeks ago, my extreme rule, so wouldn't make much sense to have her lose it. So my pick is that Layla is going to retain the Divas title. Hopefully, this is a de decent Divas match. And uh, that's pretty much what needs to be said. So, still Divas Champion, Layla. WWE Championship match. WWE Champion CM Punk vs. Daniel Bryan. Um, this is going to be a great match. I cannot wait for this match. But my pick is going to be that CM Punk retains the WWE Championship. As big of a Daniel Bryan fan I am, I just don't see him winning it just quite yet. Maybe, I don't know, I actually don't even see him winning it at all in this feud. Hopefully, down the line, he'd eventually get the title. But I just don't see Punk losing anytime soon just yet. Uh, no doubt in my mind this will be a great match, probably match of the night, but I just, this is, I don't know, this is going to blow a lot of people's mind, I think, but at the end of the match, I think that CM Punk will still be your WWE Champion. Then the main event, John Cena vs. John Laurinaitis. If John Laurinaitis loses, he will be fired, and if any WWE superstar currently interferes, they'll be fired. Makes it my pick that John Laurinaitis will defeat John Cena. I think they made it pretty clear that any current superstar will be fired, so I think we'll either get a big show heel turn where he helps Laronitis wins and Laronitis rehires him. Uh, maybe we'll get Brock Lesnar to finally come back and you know set up a match with Triple H next time on Raw at a pay-per-view. Or you know, even Batista might return. Or maybe the whole revolution thing ends up being a group and debuts like the Nexus or something, but uh, my pick is to be that John Laronitis is going to win regardless of what happens. So those are my predictions guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, over the limit, I have pay preview tomorrow night, um, like I said, hopefully it's going to be a pretty good show, and uh, thank you for watching the video, and wait for the review tomorrow, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.